I am on a mission to discover the best pizza here in Manhattan, in New York City. But I'm not alone. I'm with a few friends yes. to figure it out. We're starting with a New York City classic. Definitely the cheapest pizza you'll find here in Manhattan. When you open it, okay. it's gonna cover your face. Say it again? <laughs> Time to reveal the first pizza. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, it looks like a pizza. First bite of the day. You know the rules. One bite and no more. Just like what I said. Very mid. Maybe actually a little bit worse than I expected. <laughs> Yeah. I haven't even tried it. Not great, not well cut. The cheese is really stringy. The sauce is kind of bland. Like, what do you it's say, two sauce? out of 10? Uh, yeah, honestly, about like a 2.5 out of 10. 2.5, yeah, I'm not willing to give it that dignity. Two out of 10. Didn't even know that there was actual sauce on this pizza. Yes. It was just bread and cheese. There's barely any sauce visible. No, it tastes like those like breadstick dunkers in like, like the high school cafeteria. It's actually bad. <laughs> <laughs> the next pizza spot we're going to is Angelo's Pizza, but unfortunately the main location is closed due to renovation, as you can see right here. But we're going to go to the sister location, which isn't too far away, and try it out. But it's unfortunate. I always like to go to the original spot first. It's the best, but we got to do what we got to do. We're finally having some good pizza here in New York City. We're at Angelo's. See it? Wow. This one, this one looks different. This one looks different. Let's hold, it, let's hold up a bit more. Tomato sauce is actually visible in this pizza, which I'm excited to, to try now. This one's very different. Very savory sauce. It's way better than 99 cent pizza. I think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Not too overdone. Almost was expecting more out of a coal fire uh, on the crust. I think the crust is a little overwhelming for coal fire pizza, but I mean, overall pretty solid. I mean, that's, that's, that's probably what? Five and a half to six out of 10? What? You said five and a half no. out of six out of 10? No. This, is, this is really good. good. This is in the eights. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was gonna that's say. Right. I'm a big fan of I'm gonna one. go. An 8.4 out of 10. 8.4. Do you think that's fair? I agree. This is great. Nick? Sure. <laughs> You're Italian. Okay. Angelo's is 100% Italian. As an Italian man, do you approve of this pizza? That's good. All right, well, that's that's good. That's great. Cheers. The cheese is very pungent. And good. Not what is, like what does pungent face. mean? I don't know. Like, um, it mean like the kapow. Kapow. Yeah, that, that's, that's a good word for this. We got pizza from the famous Joe Schmo place. This one's pretty thin, as you can see. Um, it's burning my finger really bad. Oh, no. <laughs> that might be the best one we've had yet. But it didn't, it's not trying to do too much. I feel like the last pie, it was trying to be bougie. It was trying to have that riz. But this this pizza, like, it's just trying to be a good pizza. And it's straightforward. It's just like, it's not just your everyday Joe, you know? So not as good. Not as good. I still think the other one ranks first. Yes. As of right now. I second Nick, that. Any other words than good this time? I don't know. I feel like the other one was pretty good. Time to try Joseph's Pizza. This is like your you your standard New York style pizza at its finest. Burger. At its finest. I like it. Very thin. Good amount of cheese. Good amount of sauce. Not as good as the other one. I'll agree with most people here. So I'm gonna go with a 7.5. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> That's Joe's.
all right this place was rated very highly by Dave Portnoy so I have high hopes for this place the vibe inside's nice but does the pizza match it all right this looks good it feels nice in the hand I like everything about it so far Oh, it does look good. It does. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's good. It's good. It's got a real good crunch to it. And it's very gooey on the top. It is gooey. Gooey is a word I would use to describe this. <laughs> it's really sweet sauce. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know if I like that. It's definitely not in the nines, but it's better than in the sevens. I'm, I'm actually gonna rate it above Angelo's. Yeah, that's the best one we've had yet. An 8.6. No, Dude, I'm yeah. I, I actually have liked I it. The more I've eaten it, the more I've liked it. 8.6 all the way. The last one I'm doing that. Like, you really think this is better than That's the best pizza we had. This one's like a 6.8. Are your taste buds working? No, that's a pie, dude. This is the best one we've had. I would agree. Mm -hmm. Just about. It's really close with Angelo's. But I think Angelo's original location would beat this one. We did go to the sister one. Look at that. That crust. So good. The best, definitely the best crust by a mile. Let it out. The crust was in the nines, but the rest of the pizza wasn't as good. That looks awesome. <laughs> wow. First bite. Drum roll. I think that's the best one yet. Ooh. I'm saying the crust isn't quite as good as the last one, but it's overall, the savoriness of the sauce, the quality of the cheese, there's a little give to it, but it's still kind of crispy, <laughs> kind of toy. You can taste that it was made in a coal oven um, instead of the wood fire or whatever strategy. It does kind of remind me of New Haven Pizza a little bit, but yeah, no, it's solid. Like the bubble action there on the end. Mmm. It's probably an 8.8 .8 out of 10. He does like the Italian. Wow. He's so dangerous. Temperate. Okay. <laughs> so, the sauce, definitely the sweetest out of all of them. Sweetest? Yeah. The sauce is saucing. Cheese is cheesing. The crust is crusty. I, I will say, <laughs> I will say, I think this pizza has the best ratio. At least. Mm. The best ratio of sauce to cheese to bread. Ooh. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's the sauce to cheese to bread ratio. That's the difference. It's a difference maker. It's and all. Speaking of sauce, uh, <laughs> you got. Well, that's not the sauce I was talking about. Yeah. There's, there's a bit on your face. Oh, no, nice. Lydia? <laughs> Crust is definitely better than the last one. This is, this is a close race. This is a very close race. Hmm. And Nick? It's good. Look at that. Okay. I'm, I'm actually, I'm losing my mind with this kid. Oh, that, I could taste the sweetness. I've been munching on this for the past minute. And I think John of Bleecker Street is now my personal favorite in Manhattan. Just about 8-7, eight, 8-7, seven, eight, seven, just about beats uh, Lazara's, just about the sauce and the cheese, everything. As my good friend says, it is good. First pizzeria in the United States in 1905. It is a part of the Pizza Hall of Fame. What? <laughs> Pretty good. So we're at the oldest pizzeria in the United States, but the real question is, is it the best pizzeria in the United States? We're here to find out right now. 
We got the pizza. Let's open it up. <gasps> okay, that one looks really good. <laughs> they don't got cheese. They only got margarita. That's cheese, right? <laughs> <laughs> but isn't this margarita? That, that looks like cheese. <laughs> cheese goes on margarita pizza. Okay, it's it's cheese pizza. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This is really good pizza. Really crispy. The acidity is good. Mm -hmm. I don't like. If it's gonna be a sweet pizza, it has to have the acidity to it. it has to balance it out. See, this sauce is good. And the basil too. I approve of this sauce. Is it the best one we had today? I would say so. I'd say this is at least first or second. I think I'm still sticking with Angelo's. I think this one I think would be runner up because of the cheese. The cheese yeah. is definitely the freshest out of all of them for sure. Can we, can we, can we I still don't know if it beats John's. Go. John's and Beaker is really good. It's pretty tough. I'm gonna give this pizza an 8.5 out of 10. It's really good, really good, but not at that elite level. Well, I think we've had enough pizza for today. I'm sick and tired of it. Yeah. But it was great. I loved it. There were some great pizzas, but nothing elite. Nothing at a really high level. I think yeah. I think Brooklyn has better pizza than Manhattan. We'll have to do Brooklyn next time. Like Luigi's, Defara. But for me, what takes the cake in Manhattan is John's of Bleecker Street. That was my favorite. I kept going back and forth, but I think my favorite is still the second one we went to. Um, what was it? Angelo's. I liked Angelo's. My favorite pizza place was Angelo's. My favorite pizza place was, what was the last one we went to? Lombardi's. Lombardi's. Uh, there were a lot of solid pies that we had today. Um, and it was really tight there coming at the end. Uh, Lombardi's, while well, it was a classic, the original here in Manhattan, the original here in the USA, this close to knocking off the top, but I gotta agree with the Coobster there. Uh, he uh, takes the cake for sure with uh, John's at Beaker Street. She liked John's too. <laughs> Your favorite pizza. Ooh. You know, I still gotta go Angelo's. There's just something about it. Get me one more. Good answer, good answer. I like Angela's. What, what, was it good? It was <laughs>